This week at the park we have 60,000 new visitors and we're hoping they'll stay with us. We're happy to have them and it's all thanks to Mert Laffin and Robert O'Brien. Robert O'Brien, Killan and a Scotty Wexford. Mert Laffin and a Scotty Wexford. I grew up in the area here in Killoran, a couple of miles up the road and we used to fish down here and hang around here as kids and all that kind of stuff and been in and out of the park a couple of times since it was built. And it's a good area for it as well, there's plenty of natural forage here. Like. The bees will live in our monastery, the herb garden laid out in front of them and sighted to take in the morning sun. You try and sight it that uh, getting the sun early in the morning so they wake up early and get going early and that kind of thing and then you don't want wind and rain blowing in the front of the hive so you have to try and find out where the wind is coming from and position yeah. your hive correctly and so on. Yeah. Mert and Robert have been honing their craft for a number of years now and have taught through the needs of our native bees. Normally um, the bees, the numbers have started to build in the spring and it, if they don't have enough space then what will happen is the queen will lay, uh, supersede your cell maybe and she'll swarm then and the new cell will open into a new queen and she'll take over the original colony. Yeah. So if you don't watch for that, you could lose half your bees out of the hive in a swarm like so, you know, that's your honey bed for the year as well. So. <laughs> and <laughs> autumn time then is, um, put your feeds on after you take the last of the honey and make sure they're set up for the winter and a bit of insulation on top of the hive. And what do you feed them? Uh, sugar syrup. Okay. It's basically a mix of sugar and water. You have uh, two different mixtures. So yeah, yeah. One is spring, one is autumn. Most people you meet have had an experience with bees and our Tony was quick off the mark when he met the beekeepers. Yeah, there was a fella come one time and I'd done an extension about 12 years ago and we had the bees, we'd say, in the gable end of yeah. the house. Now, then they went to the flat roof. But he come about 10 o'clock one night, he went down to his elbow, down into the cavity. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't bother him. Yeah. He was pulling out lumps of honeycomb. Yeah. So he's going to get killed. He obviously had no fear of it. Yeah. Like you I lads, know, probably. Yeah. And obviously the bees are a good temperament as well, you know. So. Yeah, but I don't know how he done yeah. it. I mean, mm. I thought you'd have got stung to bits. These bees are native to Ireland and have been here a long time and the Menapia Bee Club, the local club in Wexford, have been involved in an ingenious plan to ensure the continued survival of the native bee and in the process giving the bees their very own Love Island. Yeah, bees out on the yeah um, John Morgan and the lads in the Menapian Beekeepers and Bee Breeders Association, they were members of that group and uh, we're doing a pilot scheme out on the Salties there to try to set up isolate, isolated breeding stations where you don't have any drift from other colonies. You can guarantee your, your mating to keep your genetics pure, you know? So 